guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with some dark romance recommendations. I realize it's been over a year since I've done a video of just straight up dark romances, so I'm here. I have done a few since I've been on booktube, and I don't know why it's been over a year since I've done one. I love dark romances, specifically like mafia romances, but this video does have a lot of different dark romances. Some I've talked about, some I've recently read, so I will get to it. I know that a lot of people are like, well, this isn't really dark, but this is dark, and we all have our own like scale of what actually is a dark romance so they range from being pretty light in the dark romance category to pretty dark romances so go in knowing that these are dark romances and bad things happen to the characters in a lot of them and that's just what they are. So I'm going to go ahead and get to my recommendations. My first recommendation is Her Soul to Take by Harley LaRue. This one Charles from Books on Stereo told me to read and I buddy read it with some friends on booktube and I really really enjoy this. It's actually a paranormal dark romance and so our heroine is going to the school that is where she grew up that her family left and these people want to sacrifice her and she doesn't know it and our hero is a demon and he is bound to this family and is told he has to get her to sacrifice her and he meets her and he's like I don't want to do that. I kind of like her and so we already have our heroine wanting to be like taken and sacrificed and killed and so our hero is definitely not a good guy but for some reason he's just like I don't want to do the bad thing right now and so I really love their dynamic. It was such a fun entertaining romance and it's definitely a lot more light in terms of how they deal with the darkness I feel like. I don't know like the people reading it with me said it reminded them a lot of like the humor in Buffy and that kind of vibe and I've never watched Buffy though so I don't know if it's real or not but I feel like it was a lot more like lighthearted in the way they like spoke about the things happening which made it a lot more fun of a read but like dark things did happen in the book so if you want a paranormal romance that's really good I recommend this one. The next one I have is not like too dark and that is Made of Steel by Ivy Smoke. This one more so is on the romantic suspense side but I wanted to include it in this video if you wanted like a really light dark romance. So our heroine was abused in her past because she, her parents died and then she went to live with her grandma. Her grandma died so then she went to the foster care system and she she was being taken care of someone who abused her and so now she's actually in the witness protection program and she's starting school in New York and in the prologue we get her being really close with this boy next door who's a couple years older than her but she was like eight so he was ten and obviously he's gonna be part of the in the picture like part of the book later on and she is trying to like start a new life she meets a boy and she just wants like a normal relationship but she feels like someone's watching her so she feels like her foster caretaker uh, has people like after her and that's the premise of this book. Now reading through the Goodreads reviews people really don't like this book. Lacey really didn't like it. I just talked to her at a live show I did last night. I really enjoyed it but I listened to the audiobook so I think if a writing style doesn't work for some people it works a lot better in audio format. So I was thoroughly enjoying this book and really engaged. I've actually started book two already. Like this morning, I'm almost halfway through book two already. So it's just like so addictive. And like I said, it's not like super dark, but it's definitely like puts you on the edge of your seat. And there's also a vigilante like randomly in here too. Like the arrow, uh, the show, I really love that. And if you like that kind of vibe, I think you would like this book too. The next one I have is just something I absolutely love that was like making its around on booktube last year and that's Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin. These are pirates so if you don't want a dark romance that has to do with like crime and like the mafia I think you would really like this because our heroine is a pirate captain and of course this is dark so like a lot of bad things happen to our heroine. She gets assaulted quite a bit in here because people want to kidnap her and during this time if a woman is taken and in a room with a bunch of men who are also pirates you know what's going to happen and so she is a notorious pirate captain and she's actually in she had I don't want to spoil anything there's a pirate hunter after her and there's a love triangle in here and it is absolutely fantastic I adore this book so much definitely dark but I love pirate romances so much and the fact that we have a author today writing a historical pirate romance makes me so excited because I love historical pirate romances written like 80s and 90s I need more of them and so I love that Pam Godwin wrote this and it was just amazing I loved it I loved how strong our heroine was she's a pirate captain like she runs her own ship but this guy is after her and he wants to catch her to kill her he's a pirate hunter literally what are they gonna do pirates when they catch them kill them so it's so good next is a series that it's a duet I really enjoyed book one but I wasn't the biggest fan of book two but I'm gonna recommend it because I did enjoy the first book and that is Pawn and Pike 
Pike's the first one. So it's Pike and Pawn by T.M. Frazier. If you like the King series, this is actually a spinoff of that. So we do get to see King and we get to see Preppy and it's like in the causeway, like wherever those books took place. And in this one, our heroine was like beaten and battered on the side of the road and our hero helps her out and then he doesn't see her ever again and then we fast forward a couple years and people break into his pawn shop and they try to like take stuff from him I don't remember what they were doing there but he ends up capturing one of them and the other ones get away and it's her and he's like who are you what were you doing and I really liked the plot of the first book like he ends up like torturing her and trying to get answers out of her but she won't tell him anything and then we slowly unravel like who she is her past what happened when she was found on the side of the road by him who she is now what's going on who's trying to take down pike like someone is going after pike and trying to like make his life worse and he is like into like dealing things and like he does you know, illegal stuff, but I really enjoyed this first book. And the second book I think was more personal, like I didn't like the direction it went, but I think that if you like the King series, you'd really like this one too, because the King series is one of my favorite series. So read this duet if you enjoyed that. Then another duet that I absolutely love that you guys know I love is the Anti-Heroes and Love Duet by Gianna Darling. This one's Mafia Romance. Our heroine's actually a lawyer, and she is really not into love or romance or anything. She had a relationship and it's actually all of her series are really connected that are the um, the Affair series which is like three books and then her Enthralled duet and they all have they have different names but Enthralled is the first book and this one are all the siblings and so the Affair series is about an affair. It's actually her sister who had an affair with her fiance. So she's just like screw love, screw men, they're dumb and so she's very like ice queen and she's also lawyer and she is helping represent a mafia boss like a huge mafia guy and he is very much like the sunshine hero he just like is always like happy and like the life of the party and he requests that she stay in his apartment because he is on house arrest and just like to get updates about the trial and stuff so she does slowly gets broken down by him and then there's not really a too big of a cliffhanger at the end of this book but they don't have their happily ever after yet so that's why you get book two book two i feel like had more suspense as well like there's definitely suspenseful moments because people are trying to kill him and like her in the process and it's a lot of fun. I really love the dynamics of these characters and you guys know I love Gianna Darling so I had to recommend this one. Another series I talk about all the time is the Brutal Birthright series by Sophie Lark. These are the first two books that I absolutely love. This one is a hate to love marriage of convenience. Hero and heroine are from separate mafia families that are rivals. That's why they have to get married and literally try to kill each other and it's so funny and I loved it so much. I love their dynamic and how they played with each other and each other's like attraction to one another and then it kind of turned into something more amazing. This one is the sister of one of the families in this book. I don't remember which family it was. I think it was the hero's family. His sister? I could be wrong but she's kidnapped by a different rival mafia because they killed his like father figure so in order to get back at them he kidnaps her it's kind of like Beauty and the Beast retelling he keeps her locked up in his mansion that's like really decrepit and like crumbling and they end up falling in love with each other and it's really great trigger warning though for suicide in the beginning he does lose someone in the beginning to suicide and it's a very graphic emotional prologue so be aware of that going in but I really love this one too. I love the series and I am hoping to read book three this month because I love Sophie Lark. Another one that I love and I talk about all the time is Crow by Aza Varelli. This one, our heroine's best friend goes missing and she knows that she was last seen working at a club run by the Irish Mafia and so our heroine decides to get a job there, sees Crow, which is his nickname, and they hit it off and she's trying to get closer to him though to figure out what happened to her friend but she falls for him in the process. Crow is very much touch her and I'll kill you. Like literally he kills people for touching her. He's like, did he touch you? He's dead. Did he touch you? Well, I don't care because he was part of it and he's dead. So I really enjoyed this one and I'm so so intrigued by the next two books because we are set up with the hero and the heroine of both of them and I'm really excited and I already ordered book two and I know I know I own the collector's edition from Mystic Box of books one and two I know that so I already own technically book two physically and technically it's on Kindle Unlimited but I don't like reading books in like big compilations so if it has like two or more books in one bind up I won't read it because I feel like that's just too much to physically read I like having it as a collector's item but like I need to read books as a individual book and if I think I'll love it I want to have it physically so that's why I ordered it but I'm just I have a book buying problem you guys know that then I have the Mind F series by 
S.T. Abbey. I was going to say Christy Cutting because it's the same author. This one is really dark because our heroine is a serial killer and she's killing off men who've wronged her. The series gets a lot darker as it goes on. I feel like they don't really show her killings in the beginning, but they get very graphic by the end and it's very graphic what happened to her. Like we get that scene played out as well. And our hero is someone who is an FBI agent who profiles serial killers and tries to find them. So it's amazing and they're dating. Like they start dating. He doesn't know that she's a serial killer and she discovers that he's a cop and like an FBI profiler and she actually starts helping him profile other cases he's working but he's also working her case so it's amazing definitely darker though because of what happened to her in her past and she literally tortures and kills men so it's great I loved it because the men all deserve it like there is no question about it so I really like this one and those are my dark romance recommendations. Let me know down below if you have any other dark romance recommendations. I would absolutely love to hear. Like, give them to me. I need to read more. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.